This is part two of a three-part video series on concentrations in the laboratory. This will specifically be talking about concentrations and percentages. Please refer back to part one for more details on how this mixture was created. Using the same information, we can now also refer to things in percentages. So once again, we have 0 0.0144 grams of the bromophenol blue, and we had a final volume of 500 milliliters. So we can refer to this in a concentration, but a concentration referring to percentages. And percentage in the laboratory is equal to number of grams per 100 milliliters. This would be an example of what we call a weight volume percentage. Percentage that is number of grams per 100 grams of solvent that would be a weight weight percentage. This bottom number here is going to refer to a solvent. The top number is going to refer to the solute or so what you're dissolving or putting into that solvent. Uh, another way to do percentage is number of milliliters per 100 mil solvent and this would be a volume volume percentage. So in our particular case we have grams and we have milliliters. So we'll want to refer to this in terms of a weight volume percentage. So this will be fairly simple if we once again bring this information down here. We'll want to get this 500 mils to make things make life a little bit easier to 100 mils. So if we can set up a proportion so if we know 500 mils contains 0 0.0144 grams we can ask the question how many grams is in 100 milliliters? And so if we do our math, we're going to have 0 0.0144 grams times 100 milliliters will equal 500 milliliters times x grams. So if we break that down further, we can just say if we move multiply this by 100, we're going to move this over two decimal points. So it'll be 1.44 grams times milliliters, and that will equal 500 milliliters times x grams. Solve for x, so divide both sides by 500 mils. Our milliliters will cross off, and we'll be left with this divided by that and that will equal so our number of grams is actually going to in this case equal 0 0.00288 grams per 100 milliliters so in terms of percentage now if we know go back to here number of grams per 100 mils is a percentage so this is a 0 0.00288 percent solution of bromphenol blue.